side. Anytime they're defending, uh, the right winger is going to come back and turn them into a back five. And it just makes it so hard for Bohemians to try and break them down on the on the wide side, on, out on, from wide angles, I should say. Yeah, Webster was caught by the sun in that one, and Bert gets around, spreads one across the, the goal, and it's into the back of the net, and it's Ross Tierney. And, you know, Bohemians were threatening in the opening stages, and eventually they have found the back of the net through Ross Tierney and a well-worked goal. Super finish. I have to say, as you said, Giovanni pointed out rightly, Webster getting caught out by the sun there, which is a real... It's such a tough thing for teams to deal with in the, at this time of the evening we've seen in games previously this season. It was a great run by Burt down that left-hand side. Brilliant run. And as we've seen a few times this season, Ross Tierney coming in at the far post. And it's a brilliant finish by him. I thought, we, I thought he'd lost the angle there and he might put that one into the side netting. Well, that's a brilliant finish. I know it's close range, but he still did, did really well. As they come, look for Seymour. Red all the way by Feely. Breaks nicely now for Bohemians. They have a three on three here. Ali Coote goes all the way in Ali Coote. That's a wonderful strike. And that's two to nil early on for Bohemians. And certainly looking good. And could Ali Horgan's words earlier in the week come back to bite him? Just what I was thinking, Javon, as you said. What a goal there from Ali Coote. It was a brilliant strike. And I thought he was going to give it out right there. I could see Feely screaming for the ball to try and pull it back from the byline. Well, fair play to Ali Coote. There was nobody really closing him down. I'm sure Oli Horgan would be really frustrated with that, and especially when he saw Coyle doing so well in the early stages, getting back and making those defensive interceptions. But that's a brilliant finish from Ali Coote. He saw that the goal open up from there. He had the shot, and I'm sure Mark McGinley might be a little bit disappointed. As well. James Talbot gladly opens those two big shovel hands of his and gathers it. Again, we'll just look to slow it all down. Use up the vital few seconds before that halftime break. Georgie Kelly comes for this one, doesn't get it. Ben Harps battle for it again. Coyle steps over it and Burt is onto it straight away and Burt gives it into Ross Tierney. But Coyle made up the ground and atones for his error, but he gives it only as far as a Bohemian's man and that's the second goal and that's a wonderful strike. If the first one was good, that one is equally as good for Mally Coote. Oh, it's a big mistake there at the back for Finn Harps. They really should be dealing with that ball, getting it away from the goal. But I thought the initial ball from Burt was absolutely fantastic. Tierney's touch just let him down. But somehow, Bohemians managed to get possession back. And that is a brilliant, brilliant finish. Just a big, big, tall guy, Sean Boyd himself. And Ethan Boyd, of course, uh, two players had long spells with Shamrock Rovers. I'm sure they'd like to uh, try Seymour and do something here. angles it one into the box and comes as far as Foley. And he pulled that shot somehow. He knew it as soon as he made contact with it, hands on head. Adam Foley, he's had the eye for goal all season, and he'll be disappointed with that effort. The wind you might pick up on our microphones is still with us. Tierney angles one across. Burt was coming in on it. McGinley grabs hold. Yeah, I thought Tierney had a bit of space and time there to perhaps take that ball in with him instead of trying to hit the first time cause, which I know can be the thing to do to just to unsettle defenders and goalkeepers hit it first time but Finn Harps now with the chance Foley with the cross cut out by Cornwall Finn Harps are lining up for this one and McNamee has the shot and that's a good save from James Talbot had to get down well to his right hand side to keep it out from McNamee but certainly better from Finn Harps and Bastian Heary on the uh, Bohemians bench was a doubt coming into this game fit enough for a role Amongst the substitutions, could we see him at some stage in this second half? Yeah, he's been really unlucky with injury since signing for Bohemians in the close season. And he did actually come on in that game against Longford. I just don't think it was the game for him as we see Coote here now in the attack. Yeah. Just though, took a little bit too much out of it. The two goal scorer from the opening half, but he's straight on to this one. Ali Coote gives it to Dawson Devoy, and now it's Burt, and Burt has space to work in and draws the save from McGinley. That's a brilliant save, absolutely brilliant save by McGinley. The shot from Burt there was flying into the back of the net. Great reflexes and just one hand, a really strong hand for a powerful shot there from Burt. Brilliant goalkeeping, McGinley. So yeah, I think Bohemians will be quite happy now to leapfrog both Derry and Dundalk now up to sixth place. And uh, it's really just uh, for all the trouble there has been so, you know, so far this season, they definitely will be disappointed with the lack of points they've had so far, but just to get this win today, to get the three points, to move up the table, will be great for the confidence of all the players. Yeah, is it gonna come late on? 
It is indeed for the Bohemians, captain for Keith Buckley. A wonderful strike, a lovely finish. McGinley was out of position and Harps punished again. That was brilliant. They were a brilliant finish from Keith Buckley. You know, there was still a fair bit of work for him to do there. And he doesn't score too many goals. Like he's got one goal each per season over the last three seasons. That's uh, Maybe that's his only goal of this season. But it I'm is sure. so uncharacteristic of this Finn Harps team to make so many mistakes at the back and to, uh, to allow an opposition team to score four against them in one match. But uh, I'm sure they'll bounce back from this. And like I said earlier, Bohemians need to try and kick on from what's been a, a real confidence-boosting win here today. Well, indeed, it has been a confidence-boosting win, and they are full value for the three points. Bohemians, the victors here at Daly Mount Park. Ross Tierney with the opening goal on 13, Ali Coote with a brace on 19 and on 44, and the gloss of paint really applied right at the end from the Bohemians' captain, Keith Buckley. It's all over here at Daly Mount Park. The points go for the home side. It's Bohemians 4 Finn Harps nil.